Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today you'll be making one of these. That's right. You're changing your name to Adrian. No, we're creating an advanced name tag. So let's get started because I think it looks awesome. First of all, let's go ahead and change the name of your project to your name. In my case, it'll be Adrian and name plate. Hit enter. There you go. Now, if you've already seen my basic tutorials on YouTube, you know that the first thing you do is create a name tag. However, it's kind of basic. Today, we're going to be making one that's a little more interesting to look at and to make. However, we're going to make this an advanced nameplate because it requires two other pieces of software. So let's get started. First thing you're, you're going to need is Google Classroom. Well, not Google Classroom, but uh, just Google. So let's go there. Again, these are all free programs. As you can see, that's the one I created here, but I want to show you how to get to it. So click on new, drop down to where it says Google Drawings. And that's the free program, Google Drawings. Now, the reason I chose this is because most students have access to this. And of course, you can use other programs that are way more expensive, but it's your choice. So I want to put my name, Adrian Drawing. What you're going to do is you're going to click on text box. There you go. It's the letter T right there. And there we go. Yep. I'm going to type in my name, Adrian. Of course, you can type in my name if you really like it, or you can type in yours. I'm going to select everything, which is control A. I'm going to maximize this. I'm not sure how much. Let's say 72. Not bad. You can always make it bigger later, but whatever. And I'm going to change the font to Pacifico. And the reason is because I want them to all be attached to each other. And if I remember correctly, none of the other fonts do that. So this is a lot more like cursive writing because it, they all do connect with each other. And that's kind of a big deal. All right, this is the only one. So here we go. We're done with this part. We're done with the software. We just need to export it. So we're going to download it as a JPEG. Now, don't forget to remember, or don't forget where you where you put uh, your file because you're going to need it in the next step. Uh, mine's in the download section. It says Adrian Drawing, and I'm going to hit save. Now, the next place you're going to go, again, free website. It's online convert. I'll put a link in the in the description in the YouTube video. Online convert. That way you can get there faster. And what you're going to do once you're here in the home page, you're going to go straight to the bottom section. You want to convert an image, right? You're not converting video or audio. It's an image. And what you want to convert to is SVG. So now that it knows what you want to do, you have to upload the file. Choose your file, Adrian Drawing. There it is. I'm going to open it. It's uploading. Now I'm going to hit start. And this is done pretty quickly, so not bad. I'm going to download it. Adrian Drawing is going to be right there. Adrian Drawing, save. Okay, I'm done with this part, right? This is the, the part where you use other programs. Now I'm going to upload it. Shall we upload it somewhere else? Sure. Let's go ahead and upload it. We'll have a new design. Now when you upload this, it's going to come in as a huge image. So I'm going to import and you're just going to reduce it. Adrian drawing, now it's SVG. That's exactly what we want. And I'm going to, if you wanted to make it smaller before it came in there, I would just, you know, put this at 100 and see what happens. But you can just shrink it afterwards. And here we go. Again, I'm going to name this a Adrian name plate. All right, this is pretty tall. So let me zoom in here. I'm going to click the letter F to zoom in. To focus on this, I'm going to put this at five. All right. Well, there we go. Pretty clean, right? Not bad. Oh, one more thing. When you're doing this, make sure it's black or some very dark color. Otherwise, um, online convert may not notice that it's there and give you an incomplete file. So make sure it is dark or black. Black is ideal. 
okay because then you'll be able to see it better all right so this was at five we're going to duplicate this i'm going to hit Control d you could also click this button up here and there we go we're going to keep this over here on the side actually before we do that let's make sure our measurements are good this is at 38 which is super small by the way i'm not sure if i ever told you this these boxes are they go by 10 so you can just say 10 20 30 and 8. actually if you start it here it'll be exact but that way you'll know about how big your your uh, project is i want this to be closer to about 90 so i'm gonna i, mean, I, I don't want to uh, just you know stretch it because then it looks like this and it's kind of cool but i'm going for more of a uniform look so i'm gonna hit the shift button and move that all right about there let's see 10 20 30 40 50 60 i'm a little bit more that seems huge that's probably because i'm really close i'm gonna look again 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 i'm gonna click on here just to verify 84 that's not bad now let's see how tall this thing is 27 okay that's cool i'm okay with these dimensions now i'm going to duplicate this thing Control d or that button and I'm going to move this one over here up. I'm going to change this to 2.5. 2.5. Very important that you remember the 2.5 because you're going to be using that to create the outline of this particular shape. So we're going to start with this bubble or I'm sorry, this cylinder and I'm going to uh, increase the size. I'm going to maximize that. Now what you're going to do is change this to 2.5 because we want it to blend in with the letters below. And what we're gonna do is every time we see a curve or anything, we're gonna duplicate it, but make it bigger with this shape. So here we see this curve. So I'm going to try to duplicate it with this shape. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to you know, give a clue that it is that shape. See how it's not perfect? I'm okay with that. I'm going to move it over here though. That way it follows most of the curve and now I'm going to move it a little bit. Oops. I'm going to move this a little bit over. Okay, good. All right. Now I want this curve right there. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to move it down, but I'm, I need to shrink it. Whatever you do, do not hit shift because you don't want to change the height of this thing. Not at all. Don't want to change the height. All right. So look, there we're creating that curve but now we need another curve here i'm going to duplicate that and i need another one up here so i'm going to i could do let's see i'm just going to duplicate this and then move it up you could just stretch out the other one all right there it's duplicated but i'm going to duplicate it again because now i want that curve you see what i'm doing here now this is the part where you get to decide how much um you want to do because there is no mathematical rule here. There's no numbers to follow. You're just trying to create an outline over each part of this thing. And you get to decide how much of an outline. I'm going to change this to a 0.1. That way it'll move in smaller increments. And I want it to be a similar angle to that. Okay, that's good. I need a loop down here. So I'm going to, I'll just duplicate this one here. Dupe right there. There, I have the duplication there. I don't want that space right there. I think it's gonna go away soon, but let me make sure. I'm gonna click on duplicate again and move that there. I'm gonna move it over a little bit. So you see what I'm doing? I'm creating an outline. I'm duplicating that one and I'm gonna put it here. <clears throat> now I want this one here. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm going to move it over. Now, just a heads up, you're going to be tempted to try to cheat on this part, but this is actually the part that makes it look really, really cool. If you just put one giant circle for all of it, it's not going to look as cool. Trust me, because I tried it one time when I was preparing for this lesson and I realized, yeah, it doesn't look as good. So I had to redo everything. So it was more work at the very end to, to try to cheat. I don't recommend it. So I'm going to duplicate that one and I want to move it down right here to copy that loop right there okay so now I'm going to duplicate again I'm going to try to get this loop right around there 
and then duplicate that one. You see, getting that. Now here, there's a weird one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to duplicate this one and move it over some right there. What I want to do is create that little bit of a, of a space here in between these two letters because you're going to be able to notice it last time or you're going to be able to notice it when it's done. I want a little, I'm gonna, let me click over here. I need a loop down here and a little one here. So I'm going to duplicate this, move it over and then duplicate it again. But this time I don't want to go as far and I'm going to change the angle a little bit. And again, the amount of attention you put into this part will determine how good of a final product you have. Like right here, I don't want this loop or this, yeah, these two to intersect for that last one. So I'm just going to stretch this one. And then I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now, another thing that you need to do at the very end, when you're done with, you know, covering all of this, what you want to do is I'm going to take this measurement here or this, uh, I'm going to take a measurement at the bottom. It looks a lot better when they're all about the same height or distance from the, from the letters. So that's not bad. I'm going to move this just a little bit up. This one a little bit lower, that one lower and that one lower. Okay. That's not bad. Actually this one right here, just a little bit lower. I'm using the arrow key by the way, to move this down. Now, if you have a, a letter somewhere that has a space, you could, you could do something like this. Again, increase the sides, but this is just getting to a little bit more advanced. You don't want to do this for every letter because it will, there's a good chance that the print won't come out as good. So don't recommend it. But if you have a little bit of a gap right there might be one place where you're like, yeah, that makes the letter stand out. And that would be cool. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay. So let's just say, okay, all this is done. We check this. I'm going to get rid of that. That was just, you know, to make sure it worked. I'm going to group all this right here at the bottom group. Now let's see. Not bad. I'm going to change the colors. We can see the, the difference here, green, and then I'm going to move this down. All right. That does not look bad. Although that's really tall. No wonder I want that at five. That looks good right there. That is awesome. Now, last step, I'm going to get one of these loops, or what are they called? What shape is this? A tube. I'm going to put the tube right there. And mm, that's not bad. Let's First of all, let's change it to 2.5. We want it to be attached to the bottom part. There we go. And <clears throat> I want this to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to change the wall thickness a little bit. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, personally, I'm not sure I really like that space right there. I don't know. Your call, right? If you're going to make one, just make one space. I'll leave it there for today. And I might, might change my mind later. But check it out. Do you have the spaces where you, where you want them? This right here looks a little bit weird to me. So I, could, I would undo this and just make it one shape here. And also, this looks good. I'm not sure about this one. I, I might change it myself. I don't know. Let me move this letter, the letters down a little bit. All right. That looks better. But again, this is your call. This is your artwork. So make it yours. Again, if you want to, you know, change your name to Adrian, I would totally understand. And uh, if you're in my class, go ahead and raise your hand and say, yes, I would change my name to Adrian in a second. Otherwise, go ahead and enjoy this printing and have a great day.